you know, building up with the testaments, there's some groundwork being laid for fans of the novel. We are building up groundwork uh, for testaments. And, um, and I think uh, next season, um, there will be even more of that. So, you know, I will just dive right in. You know, Handmaid's Tale season four crossed a huge bridge. June was out of Gilead. We see her take revenge on Waterford in the finale. So what was kind of the goal with June going into season five? Well, um, we saw what June did to Fred, right? Um, and so we start with the battle of June versus Alfred, um, trying to heal herself from um, from the sin of what she did. Um, water plays into that very, very uh, uh, often and I think very effectively. Can she cleanse herself? Um, and, and then I think the other thematic that's powerful for us is June versus Serena Joy. Um, and it's a fascinating chess match political opposites um there are times when they want to kill each other and they have the means to do so and yet with all of the hate there's also respect and i think that that's kind of wonderful to put into the world and we just don't know who's going to come out on top from scene to scene from episode to episode it's a fascinating dynamic and you know we have two actresses that bring those words to life that that we hand them um in an amazing and i think really compelling way so so a lot of powerful themes um we continue to be relevant, sadly, more relevant than we want to be, um, given the world we live in. But, um, but we embrace that. Yeah. And I think, like you said, you know, that relevancy kind of continues this season with the popping up of supporters of Gilead in Canada and like that anti-refugee narrative that's kind of going on um, in the background of Serena and June's battle. So I was wondering if you could just, you know, kind of speak a little bit to that as well. And then what it was like to kind of see, have that play out in the writer's room while you have all this stuff going on in the real world. Yeah. Well, you know, we've built Canada up to be kind of a sacred place and why not? Um, immigration is not a four letter word here. Um, there's health care for all. It's a right, not a privilege. Um, there's a lot of good things about Canada and we've really highlighted that. Um, however, the far right and the anti-immigration has yes invaded canada in the real world and we thought even though our characters um have they find sanctuary from gilead it's not gilead but they're not immune there's nowhere that's immune to the rise of the far right and and the influence of gilead and that suggested to us that it's not a quiet Toronto this year that in fact it boils up and and I think um I think that's appropriate to say um don't get comfortable don't get complacent and no one's immune from what's going on in the world definitely and and that kind of boiling up um you know really lends to to the feeling of of handmaids to almost sort of building to an ending maybe with with June's story or almost and and kind of laying the groundwork for what the future could be. So is that a palpable feeling behind the scenes as well? Are you guys kind of, you know, building up with the testaments? There's some groundwork being laid for fans of the novel. We are building up groundwork uh, for testaments. And um, and I think uh, next season um, there will be even more of that. Um, and, and yes, it's appropriate for us to think about um, what is the closure to Handmaid's Tale? Um, and um, and appropriately, how do we open the door into testaments? Definitely, yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I loved this season as always. Um, it was really great speaking with you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah.